What is going on guys, welcome back to another play review. We are going to be looking at Hauntalar. He looks awesome, but I have tried his inform back in March I think, and he was okay. He was a decent player, nothing too special, but can this one be special? That's what we're going to find out. If you guys are looking for a cheaper level place to get you coins, check out battle.com. Their link will be in the description and use the code ETANI to get 5% off. Now to begin with, this guy, many people might be using him as a target man in the Bundesliga. But is he suitable for that position? Yeah, he is sort of because sometimes he can be amazing in some matches and sometimes he completely disappears. I found him quite inconsistent to be honest with you guys. So it really depends on how he feels during that match, what what sort of mood he's in. So all the time he's either, either well, not all the time, but either he's awesome in some matches and sometimes you will just not even think that you even have him on the pitch. Now, decent pace to begin with for a target man. I mean, other than Drogba, of course, that guy, he doesn't really need that much pace. But with Huntelaar, he just isn't as strong as other strikers to keep holding off defenders. He can hold them off, but a lot of the time, because his aggression isn't the best, they are going to win the battles. Now, when it comes down to running straight forward with him, that is the best tactic for me. Running straight forward with him to sort of get him into a battle with a defender and hopefully he wins it. That's what you're going to be hoping for because his agility and dribbling is on the downside. I really hate his agility and his dribbling. So it was really hard to turn with him. And that is a big downfall for me because if he isn't strong enough, then he's going to be sort of useless sometimes with that three-star uh, three skills as well so skillers won't be exactly too happy with hunter law but i'm pretty sure that's not what you're purchasing him for now most people will be using him to cross and hopefully he heads it in that's all right because that's what you're going to be looking for when you purchase hunter law he's got a very good heading and he's got good height he's six foot one four star weak foot and awesome finishing in the penalty area so you could hope for a really all-round good target man but he just isn't strong enough sometimes and like I said he's inconsistent and that is all there is to it for this player review. He's got a decent pace, very good finisher, decent strength and aggression, 4 star weak foot, very good heading and height but he just isn't consistent enough in my opinion. And in this final clip I just wish that shot went in because this guy's got really awesome shooting but that shot would have been amazing to just show you guys how awesome his shooting is. If it went in, that would have been incredible. One of my favorite shots that I have done in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate a like. Make sure you let me know in the comment section below. Have you tried Huntala? And if you did, what did you think of him? Uh, between the International Man of the Match and the Inform, I did not see much difference. I mean, the difference was just minor. Uh, it's going to be really hard to notice any difference between the International Man of the Match and the Inform. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys have... A very nice day.